I spend too much time beating around the bush trying to tell y'all things without saying what I'm trying to tell y'all. Because I don't want to make it about some kind of hating on black women because that's not what it's about. It's about loving yourself as a black man. I've been trying to say that the whole time. It's not about hating them. It's about loving yourself and doing what's best for you. Not what's best for black women or what's best for black people. What's best for you. Do what's best for you because you're going to include black women in your plans if you start talking about black people. Black women don't include black men in their plans when they talk about black people. That is a difference with a huge distinction. Tell me I'm lying. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's going to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I care about what's in this contract with Black America for women, and, and it's not we're not mentioned at all in the contract with Black America. And I you are mentioned. I mean, when you when you mention Black people, you mention in Black women, so oh, don't count yourself no, out. No, yes, that's you not true. true. That's like, that's like administration say that when they black make people black, is no, not no, Black women. Black, black, black women are not included in Black people. No. <laughs> they said no. The problem that black men have is that they are extremely loyal and dedicated to a group of people that have no loyalty or dedication to them. That's a problem. Now, see, I've been hinting at this stuff systemically for a while. I've been talking about this stuff dealing with society for a while because all of these lessons go across the board. If you apply this stuff in every aspect of your life, you'll move differently. It, it, has, it really has nothing to do with some gender war. And that's the thing. I mean, I get it. I don't like bragging, but I'm 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 way over y'all heads. I'm 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 so elevated in the way I think that a lot of y'all just can't understand it. And what happens is you think something is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm just way above. I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this longer than most of y'all have been alive. I've been doing this so long to the point where a lot of this stuff is just second nature to me. And I'm telling you, you cannot be loyal to no demographic, to no system, to no thing that is not loyal to you. You cannot be dedicated to no system, to no demographic, to no thing that is not dedicated to you. So putting that in perspective, I want you to go look yourself in the mirror right now and, and ask yourself, do you honestly see black women as a, as a demographic as being loyal and dedicated to black men? The answer is no. You can't say it no other way. The answer is no. And that is a problem. Because see, we are loyal to them because of our dedications to our mothers. But they have no loyalty to black men. None. Zilk. And they teach us to not have loyalty towards black men. They teach black boys to not have loyalty towards black men. This is really why we can't come up as black men. Y'all moms molded y'all a certain way and y'all not going to go against that. Y'all not going to go against black women in general because your mom is a black woman. They, they got us, bro. They have successfully destroyed us through the women. I'm not saying abandon them. I'm not saying kick them to the curb. I'm telling you, but you got to untether yourself. You got to turn it around and become the man again and lead and make them follow you. Not follow them. Not stay loyal to them while they dump on you all day. While they talk bad on you. While they support the, the, the gay gender over, over supporting black issues. Look what happened in the 60s and stuff, man. The 50s and 60s. You know, once feminism came and invited black women in, all those black women that was once part of the black liberation movement abandoned the black liberation movement and joined white feminism. Almost all of them. It showed right there 
what they really wanted, what was in their heart. They really desired to assimilate into mainstream society because that's where they saw the most benefit for them. Because again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying this. Black women measure success by how much like or better than they are in comparison to black men. That's how they measure it. And what they do when they have children, be the children boys or girls, they mold the children to have a certain loyalty towards black women while having no loyalty towards black men. This is done through black women. And you get, you know, you, you get people on YouTube that talk about black women from a place of hatred, but they never offer any real solutions because it's coming from a bad place. I, I don't hate black women. I don't really hate nobody. But I'm telling you, man, they have no loyalty towards us. So you can't be loyal to, to you, you can't be loyal towards them. They listen, if, if if black women could actually choose the sorts of white men that they would marry, right? Because it's not like every white boy is funny looking and all this and stuff, right? So let's let's not even go there, right? So let's say if black women can actually go out and just get the white boy that they would want to be with. I mean, can you imagine how many of them will marry white men tomorrow? I say about 70% of them what? be gone. The but the problem is they are competing for those white boys with other white women. And they can't compete with the white women. Now, I ain't saying it's because white women are prettier and all. It, but it's different. They, You know, I don't want to get into all that because that's when y'all start making these petty arguments that don't even matter. The point is, regardless of the why. The point is, they can't compete with the white girls from the white boys. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. The why of it doesn't matter. So they are stuck, basically, dealing with a man that they have no respect for. They have no sense of loyalty towards. They have no sense of dedication towards. They, they, this is who they stuck with. And your life with them becomes a living hell. And it's not going to change until we untether ourselves. I've been trying to... I've been trying to find a way to tell y'all this since I started this YouTube channel. If you really love black women, take a break from them. Uh -huh. I've been saying that for the longest. If you really love black women, stop dealing with them and go deal with other women for a while. Look, if you're in a stage at a time of your life where you're just dating anyway and it doesn't matter, go out there and date other women. Leave black women alone because they have to change and they're not going to change as long as they know that you are, are, are philosophically dedicated to them as long as you are philosophically loyal to them you're loyal to them but they don't they, they don't it's not reciprocated they don't owe you any loyalty or dedication and you'll sit there talking about the black woman is the queen the when the last time you heard a black woman say the black man is the king what? when the last time you heard a black woman talk about us the way you hear all these pro-black niggas talk about black women and the ones that do, the crimson cures out there, they don't even have a man. Nah, man, we got to stop it, bro. And look, I love my moms. I love my sisters. I love my cousins. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing personal. I ain't got no personal animus inside me towards black women, the women. But I don't mess with nobody that don't mess with me. I would never be loyal to no group that's not loyal and dedicated to me. My family members are cool with me. So again, if you love black women, leave them alone. Do not invest yourself in anything that's confrontational towards you. Period. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Blackout. Salam.